Alright guys, we're doing the 27th hard request of the 2016 fall list. And it is Rolling Stones Shine a Light. And let's hear the beginning of this. I don't know the words, but... C octave. I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my easy piano lessons. We're about to do the part one, but if you want all the lessons for this, they are on my website from beginning to end, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices and something on there for everybody. Even if you are a complete beginner, scroll down the main library list alphabetically to the letter L for lessons and you'll find 50 lessons there for complete beginners. We all have to start somewhere, right? And some people just kind of don't know anything and just jump in and somehow are able to do this anyway. So wherever you are, uh, I think I can help you on webpianoteacher.com. Look me up on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. Anyway, we're going to do four counts on each chord here. All right. And I'm not even going to try to imitate Mick Jagger's voice. You know, it's just one of those unique voices that no one else can do but him. G, C, E, left hands on the C octave. One. Four, one. Make sure you count, because if you don't count, you will rush. Okay, especially on something that has long note values like this. Now that was a C chord. This is going to be an E minor seven. Okay, because the notes in it are E G B. Then the D is our seventh for our. This is our minor chord E G B, and then the seventh is the D. Even though there's a B in the bass, that doesn't matter. It matters the ingredients that are in the chords, the letters. So it's E G B D when you unscramble them. Two, three, four, A minor for this one, C E A. I'll use one, two, five on that. Fingerings don't matter too much here because we go slow enough to where you can use whatever fingering you want. A on the bass, one, two, three, then we move down to a G chord. B D G left hand on a G octave. One, two, three, four. Now we have an interesting chord here. I love this one. F A C is the chord, but uh, the root of the chord, then we add E on the top, that makes it an F major 7. These always kind of sound jazzy to people, so you can, you know, real relaxing. One, two, three, four, one. Now this is a C chord, but make sure that your left hand goes down to that lowest C octave on the piano. So we just get that, oh, that bass in there. But don't play it loud, just let it be, you know, it's low, it's already going to have a volume and depth to it. Alright, C, G on the right, one, two, three, four. Now, everything up to this point has had four counts, except the last two. One, two, three, four. So make sure you mark the last two if you have trouble remembering. Not four counts on those, two apiece. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, one, two, however you want to count it. But it's G, B, D, G chord, left hand G octave. One, two, counts three and four will be F, A, C, left hand on F octave. Three, Four, and you can see on the in there the beginning of the next bar. Low G C E. We're quite a bit below middle C. We're down here. And it doesn't get it, it doesn't have to be loud. Don't punch it, just sink into it. Left hand on the lowest C octave again. Okay, so just go through it again and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here comes our F major 7, 1, 2, 3, low C octave, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, And you know what comes up. <laughs> and I teach you all of that. It's a lot of fun to play. All that dun 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 Let me get into that section. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will talk to you later.